Sometimes a, a, an unwarranted picnic can draw bears. This is very true. I mean, you, you have to be so careful when it comes to picnicking in general. There's so many different licenses and forms that need to be filled out to make sure that everything is being up to code and followed. And look. There it is. There's the, the code right there. The man scout has got to follow the code. He's got, he's got his own principles he needs to stick by. You know, trustworthiness, obedience, loyalty, helpfulness, friendliness. Those are things that Jervis definitely respects. And you can see that those tenements are things that really just guide the Man Scout through life and through... The Man Scout lives his life according to a certain code of honor. It's true. One of those things being bravery. Stepping into the ring hey. against a fierce competitor. Hey, you don't get all those badges that he's got, all those patches by being a coward. It's very true. You know? Here he goes, turn that page. Jervis. Jake Manning, he'll, Jake Manning will do anything to be a good scout. He'll even sell, he'll sell Girl Scout cookies. Whatever you gotta do, whatever it takes. But we won't forget that he is a man scout, first and foremost. Oh! Our official, Nick Bonanno has his own rules that he has to enforce in the ring. 
Jervis is letting Jake Manning know that he came here to fight. If hugging just happens to be part of his offense, then so be it. Hugging and picnics are all part of Jervis's agenda, but at the, at the end of the day, he's here to fight. Oh, and here we go. Little airplane spin. Jervis with that ripcord and Russian leg sweep. Jervis really taking control here. Series of moves. Look at the leg. leg of the man scout. Yeah, Jervis stringing together a, a series of wrestling moves. Could have very easily put away Jake Manning, but uh, no, not the man scout came here prepared as well. Jake Manning is a put together athlete. He is a put together athlete, and someone that athlete and someone that can really thrive under pressure. He was he is the pro wrestling revolver scramble champion, so he knows how to deal with unexpected circumstances, multiple did he, opponents. Did he get the, the did he get the pro wrestling revolver scramble patch for his uniform? Oh, I'm, I'm sure he probably had to embroider it himself. After all, he did get that embroidery patch. Now, Man Scout unleashing strikes you know, upon the world's sweetest man. I apologize, Kathy. I'm, do, I'm trying my best to come up with a Wee Blows joke, but I just don't have one. It's okay. I won't put it past you. Jake Manning oh. over the top rope and lands on the stage right in front of us here, almost at the commentation station. The commentation station, he certainly does have his own, you know, adventuring patch. He's no stranger to the great outdoors, and that includes the outskirts of the ring, I that guess. That includes hiking. That it, includes it includes canoeing. Wait a minute! What? He just assaulted Jervis with a Coleman. Oh my Some gosh, sort of a tent? REI tent that he found. What, he, does he travel you know with that? Does he, a does good he scout is always prepared, He brings Loudon. that on the plane? And he assembled that himself. Look at that. Look at that skill. That took him no time. That took him no time. I bet you he can start a fire just as fast. I bet he could. I don't want to challenge him because I'm sure there's some codes about the building. Well, I bet he could put it out but even I, faster. I, you know, he's... The man scout is... He's got a badge for everything. Oh, but now up in that fireman carry position is Jervis. But Jervis fights his way out. Ah, Jake Manning is used to sleeping under the stars, but I think he wants Jervis to be seeing stars. And I think Jervis wants to. Well, you won't get a mosquito bite. Really important. I hope he has a citronella candle. Or maybe some off bug spray. Oh, Jervis has got the picnic basket. He's gonna have a picnic after all. Hey, there we go. What? When the man scout sleeps, the picnic happens. Uh-oh, but I think we might have an uninvited guest to this picnic! Jervis! Jervis, look behind you! The bear! There's a bear You're that was kidding me. attracted to the scent of the picnic! He's the world's sweetest man. I bet he has some very sweet sugar cookies in there. And now he needs the help of a seasoned scout. He has drawn in a nasty grizzly bear. They're very common around here in California. Oh, no. Looks like... Jervis and the man scout are... They better slam the. I mean, they better slam the flap. Yeah, you can't invite a bear into your tent. He's, I mean, wreaking absolute havoc. Oh no! Wow. <laughs> uh oh. There's gonna be some messy sleeping bags in there. Oh no. Well, I mean, thank goodness we have such a, a seasoned man scout that can hopefully remedy this situation. He's got to know the tactics uh, well, to we survive a bear attack. And Kathy, I think what we're going to see is a bear with his stomach full. I think that's what we're going to see. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Oh, and our our official, it looks, <laughs> can't gauge what's going hey, on. Man. Are their shoulders Nick's, down? Nick's not getting in that tent. He's a very wise referee. Nick doesn't, Nick doesn't go camping. He wants to live to ref another day. And now Manscout and Jervis are fighting over the picnic basket. 
And wait, Yogi is now, oh, oh no, right in the face. Right in the face for the innocent grizzly bear. They've invaded his territory. Jarvis rolls up, shoulders down to the man scout, and that's it. 